Hello, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville featuring the Florida Everblades. The Everblades, uh, the part of a hockey stick, right here, blade. Hey, I thought we were going for, uh, from Florida to Milwaukee, you know? To Nashville. To Nashville. That's the goal, anyways, right? To the Hall of Fame. <laughs> anyways, this is our Florida Everblade discussion. And who are we presented by, guys? Oh, our good friends at Hockey Lock. Oh, yeah, You can right. visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com, or you can visit them at... 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, to pick up all your hockey gear, your hockey skates, referee gear, referee skates, figure skates, goalie pads, goalie gloves, goalie sticks, hockey sticks. You can get old hockey jerseys. You can get new hockey jerseys. You can get this nice Predators hat. You can also get one of those. You can also get other hoodies and sweatshirts. You can even get one of their hockey locker jerseys. Shirts. Yes, you can. Or hoodies or t-shirts, because mm -hmm. they do have them. Where uh, which, where can you go online? To, to I already said stuff? hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Oh, and oh, if you oh, want, it's your time. You can call them. That's true. Them. Uh, you if you want to call them, them, you can call them at 414-800-7585. To see if they have what you need exactly. for your to fill your hockey fix. Yeah, and if you're a figure skater or whatnot, you can go there and get your blade sharpened. Hey, put the phone number in, save it on your phone, and you'll know when it's ready. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, like I said, we have an Everblades video. It is the upside of our day. Yeah, uh, it's the honestly. Greenville Swamp Rabbits taking on the Florida Everblades. And if I'm correct, this is their third game in a row now? No, this is their second, second game. Or in a row. third win. Oh, okay. I don't the know. Third win in a row, I thought. Whoa, whoa. But anyway, uh, let's th break it down, shall we, guys? Yeah. Tomorrow will be their third game in a row, but we'll cross that bridge uh, once we get there. Yeah, they played, uh, what is it, they played the Swamp Rabbits. Uh, this Tonight is their, and this is their second one in a, in a row because they won against them yesterday. Yeah. Uh, this was also in Hertz Arena, so they got to play on home ice, which is awesome. Uh, playing on home ice and winning is <laughs> always the best feeling in the world. Yeah, tomorrow they'll be playing in Orlando versus the Orlando yep. Solar Bears. Playing in uh, the Amway Center, that's the same place they have the Orlando Magic, I think, correct? Yes, yep. and also I believe their Arena Football League. Wait, that league's uh, no more. Yep. Never mind. Uh, R.I.P. AFL. <laughs> yeah, I kind of I kind of watched a lot of it because AFL I thought was interesting. Anyways, anyway, uh, we got I am, I'm pulling up the uh, standings right now. It is there. Currently, they are 9-0-1 in their last 10. Okay. Wow, so the Everblades are on fire. So they, they only lost in overtime with, against the, the Solar Bears the last time. Yeah, pretty much. You know, that was that one nothing overtime, which... Ooh, that's rough talk. That's rough hockey to watch. Right, Three who's periods gonna, of who's nothing. Start talking about the stats. All right, so I got you covered. All right, so statistically, uh, whoops, <laughs> I'm allowed to screw up. All right, so the shots were very uneven. Oh, oh God, it's the repeat of last night. 35-26. Oh jeez, man. Identical <laughs> shots. Is yeah. this Is this <laughs> yesterday's game? Well, no, they. they <laughs> they scored nah, six this to game one. Was more one Did they side. score sixty? No, they scored six to two yesterday. Um, okay, so so a little better. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. More right, insurance. Go. More insurance. All right, All right. So um, scoring first was Joe Pendenza, former admiral, assisted by Justin Auger, former captain of the um, Manchester Monarchs. Monarchs. That's right. And an assist from Michael Huntebrinker. Best player. <laughs> um, Favorite player, I should say. Yeah, um, and then we have a goal shorthanded, scored by John McCarron, uh, assisted by Michael Huntenberger. Captain assist, it's starting to look that way. Um, and then in the second period, we had another shorthanded goal by, by Michael Huntenberger <laughs> with an assist from Zach Magwood and Adam Smith. Magwood's actually him. getting some assist. Yeah. Now he's at the ECHL. Um, and then in the fourth goal was scored by Blake Winicki with an assist from Justin Auger and Hunter Garlett. Yeah, hey, I know who Hunter. Uh, we get some goals from Michael Neville too on the right on the right hand column. Oh um, no, that would be a penalty. Yeah, it's all penalties on the right. Oh, gotcha. You're, all right, you're, darn Dan, you're going good. Third all right, period. so um, then we have a power play goal from from the Swamp Rabbits on uh, Nathan Perkovic, assisted by Patrick Bokoff. And Chad Duchesne. No relations to Matt. <laughs> it's spelled very differently. Um, he, might, he might be related to me. You never know. <laughs> um, 
Then we have Blake Winicki scoring with an assist by Hunter Garlett and Lucas Craig. Lucas Craig. We were just talking about earlier off camera how Craig's is getting a lot of assists. And I believe that was actually as he was coming out of the penalty box because he had a penalty at 8 minutes, 4 seconds, and the goal was scored at 10 minutes, 46 seconds. Mm. So he must have just came out of the penalty box, jumped into the play, and goal. Goal. Mm. Um, outside of that, the only other notable thing is Nathan Perkovic <laughs> and Chad Duchesne both got 10-minute misconducts with two with under two minutes left. So that's probably most likely just a fight. No other penalties. No, they both were for the Swamp Rabbits. Nobody else got penalties. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Interesting. So the score, final score was 5-1. to 5-1? to one. Again, winning at home, great feeling. It hurts, don't it? Uh, All right, <laughs> Sunday, like we were saying, uh, Everblades oh. played a solar bear. Yep, Go. we're going, uh, going oh. up to Orlando. Oh. Wait. Go um, goaltender for the Everblades was Ken Appleby, stopping 25 of 26 with a 96.1 save percentage. Not a bad day. Again, Appleby. Stop it! Hey, it ain't my fault that his name makes me hungry. <laughs> and then we have Jeremy Halvig, stopping 30 of 35 not with an 85.7 save percentage. Not really a good night, but not terrible with that uh, save percentage. Uh, All right. Um, beyond that, uh, team statistics between the two. Um, oh, good Lord. Yeah. 28 penalty minutes to 10. <laughs> Who had 28? Um, uh, the Screamsville Swamp Rabbits. Ouch. Are we, oh, no, it's us. No, it shouldn't be that way, because... I was going to say, if it was us, how do we do what we did? I'm confused. Because mm. I don't see anybody with, like, a, an insane amount of pims. <laughs> Wait. Four, six, eight. No, oh, it is them. Okay. Yeah. They just kind of spread out amongst a bunch Inville, of people. Uh, went a little loose in the, what is it, keeping it locked down? Yeah. <laughs> All right, the so channel. currently the Florida Everblades sit fourth in the league. Uh, the Allen Americans are first with 33 wins, nine losses, six overtime losses, and two shootout losses. And then their uh, division rival, the South Carolina Stingrays, are sitting in second? Yes, uh, with uh, 47 games played, 34 wins, 9 losses, 3 overtime losses, and 1 shootout loss. And they are currently riding a 2-game win streak. Then we have the Newfoundland Growlers. They played 46 games, 34 wins, 11 losses, 1 shootout loss. And then we have the Florida Everblades, who are currently riding a 10-0-1 streak. Ouch. Eight. Again, they're... I would say that's stick tap worthy. Yeah. <laughs> because, again, these are our inaugural guys, and they're having a heck of a season down in the Hertz. Beyond, I mean, good on them. Good on them. That's worth fun. I know we don't, we don't, we weren't planning on doing stick taps tonight, but a 10-0-1. Yeah, you, you, can't, you can't ignore that. You can't ignore that's it. That's a fire. That's a really good. They're good melting, job, yeah. Blades. They're melting the ice down there. Good job, Blades. Yeah, they're doing really well while the rest of us are falling back. Well, yeah. again, we're going through a lull right now. But hey, it happens. Again, hey, February, happens. Valentine's Day, that stuff will mess any man up. Right. Oh, God, i got to remember what to get her. <laughs> are we ready to move to... Uh, let's move to Orlando. All move. right. Tomorrow, uh, the Everblades play the Orlando Solo Bears at Orlando. It's at 2 p.m. Central Time, I do believe. That is correct. No, <laughs> don't, don't take your shirt. All right. Um, their top five point getters are Tristan Langan. 38 games played, 12 goals, 18 assists. He has a plus minus of plus 21. Uh, 26 uh, penalty minutes, and he's averaging uh, three points per game. Uh, then we have Taylor, what is that, Camarada? Uh, Langan is called up. Yep. Uh, they, well, fine. Anyways, Taylor Camarada. Yeah. He has uh, 36 games played, 11 goals, 18 assists. He has a negative 3 in the plus minus. He has 8 penalty minutes, and he's averaging 3 points per game. Um, 
Then we have Trevor Olsen, 45 games played, 15 goals, 12 assists. So he's a plus one, uh, 47 penalty minutes, and he's averaging a point per game. Uh, we have John O'May. Uh, he has 37 a penalty games minute played, per game. He's uh, averaging a penalty goals, minute per game. 12 assists. He's a negative three. He has 26 penalty minutes, and he's but he's averaging three points per game. How is that possible? Yeah, I don't know. But that's Wait, who? what I'm reading. PPG, points per game, correct? Power play goals. P oh. oh, you're on pimps. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh, points per game, Kyle Cabrera is for averaging 0. 0.81. Uh, Trevor Olsen is 0. 0.60. Chris LeBanc is uh, 5, 0. So what 0.57. What is PIMG? Uh, PIMPG? Uh, pimps per game. PIM is penalty match. Per, uh, penalty minutes. PPG is power play goals. SG SHG is shorthanded goals. Yeah, PIM is a penalty. Do what PPA? Well, yeah, it's the penalty a minute percentage. Do so what PPA did? Yeah. Penalty minute per average. I don't know. Yeah. What That's what I'm saying. I'm confused how to. Anyways, that John they don't have a stat. Uh, he said he had 30 goals, 12 assists, negative three, 26 penalty minutes. Uh, yeah. Do we have a uh, Chris LeBlanc? Uh, 44 games played, 11 goals, 14 assists, uh, negative 3 to plus minus 13, or 32 penalty minutes, I do believe. And then uh, 3 PPG, whatever that's short for. Uh, you got their goalies? Uh, yeah, I also have their, yeah, I got their goalies covered. All right, so I'm not 100% sure on this, so let me check this, because uh, he was not there yesterday. On their roster, so let me double check this. We got a new challenger approaching. All right, the Solar Bears are currently in their last 10, 6, 4, 0, oh, and 0. Oh. So, uh, their streak, they are 0, oh, 2, 0, oh, and 0. Oh. So, so uh, I just give you guys a heads up, and they are fourth place in the uh, South Division Eastern Conference. So still kind of struggling right now. But um, yeah. still the Everblades are currently sitting in second. Greenville's third. Orlando's four. Let me. Uh, can I see the? Uh, what is it? The divisional. Is it divisional? Oh, it is divisional. Okay. South, which uh, is the our Blue conference, actually. Yeah. Right. I want to see the conference because uh, we should be pretty. Yeah, we're third in the. the yeah, we're the Everblades are third in the conference. Yep. Orlando is eighth in the conference. And we are currently tied with Newfoundland for second. That's so not what I clicked. Uh, second. What do you mean? Second well, in yeah. conference or second in division? Uh, second in points. Uh, uh, in the in the conference. Yeah. We're yeah. About, yeah, we're tied at sixty nine points right now. Yeah, but they played forty six games and the Everblades played forty eight games. Yep. But again, like if that if that trend continues. Yeah, like, yeah. It gives like as long if we get a point, if we get two points or even a point, then okay. Loses, so that's gonna be their to starting goaltender. Okay. All right, who would their starter be? Uh, okay, so the starting goaltender is Mike Condon. Most of you remember him for backing up Carey Price. Hmm. Um. Oh yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, he is one game's played, one loss with a 2.09 goals against average with a .926 save percentage. One loss, two goals against, 27 shots. Then we have Zachary Foucault. Uh, he has 23 games played, nine wins, uh, eight losses, three overtime losses with a 2.47 goals against average and a .924 save percentage. Three shutouts. I'm running up for it. Who to next? Uh, also, uh, their defensemen, uh, their top two defensemen are Michael Brodzniak. Uh, Brodzinski. Brodzinski, I'm sorry. <laughs> Brod Brodzinski. Yeah. Brodzinski. All right, anyway, 44 games played, four goals, 24 assists with uh, 28 points with a plus one. Uh, Cody Donahue. He has uh, 46 games played, two goals, 14 assists with a plus five. And then we have Derek Droplick. Um, he has 15 assists and a minus five. Ouch. Um, 
And then we have Rich Boyd. He has uh, 23 games played, 6 goals, uh, 3 assists for 9 points with a plus 2. And then we have Blake Kessel, uh, 3 goals, 4 assists for 7 points and a minus 3. He is a former admiral and <laughs> former manager. And possibly related to Phil. <laughs> he is related to Phil. <laughs> yes. All right, so... With that being said, this has been our Florida Everblades uh, show. Uh, enjoy your game in 13 hours, 35 minutes, and 30 seconds. <laughs> Don't um, worry, we'll get better with this. We're from Florida to Milwaukee, and from Milwaukee to Nashville. Don't worry, <laughs> we'll get better. Trust and me, always, we'll go check out our friends over at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, you can get all your hockey needs, hockey apparel, figure skating needs, figure figures. You might be able to get figure skating apparel. Yeah. Uh, uh, skates. skates. Oh, and your inline skates for roller hockey. Mm-hmm. And you can get your referee jerseys because I know how much it annoys Chris if I don't say it. <laughs> as much as we don't like zebras, we have to include them when we talk hockey. Yeah. All right, so we will see you guys Monday. Uh, he might see you tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. Um, see. I'm, could you at least do a type up of, of the game, like the little stats? So that way we don't got to do a video. Can you like type it up on the page? We yeah, do we'll do yeah. a type up just on the page. Just look at the internet, type it up, and get it out of your way. So that way you don't got to disturb any of your plans. Just spend some time on Facebook and knock yeah. it out. It's All right, so we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. Daniel, Chris, and Matt. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Click the little bell. Like our videos. Follow us on